Hello, this is the Bible in fewer words. We are Carol and Steve Welts. This is episode 102, the second episode of the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 4. If you enjoy this podcast, consider supporting us at patreon.com forward slash bfw. And thank you to Martin Watkinson for supplying the music that we play at the beginning and end of these episodes. Hi, Steve. Hi, Carol. What are we doing today? We're continuing with the book of First Samuel. And last time, what happened last time? Last time, God appeared before Samuel. Yeah, we had Samuel and God appearing and, and the, In old, person. the old priest, Eli. Uh-huh. And they got all that worked out, God's message to Eli. Uh, not a good news message. No, no, it wasn't. It's, <laughs> and so I think that uh, we're going to go on from there. Great. Um, can I just ask you, why do we have First Samuel and Second Samuel? Oh, that's just because it, it used to be just one book. Okay. And it wasn't really a book because they didn't have books. No. It was like scrolls, I guess. Anyway, it was too long to fit on a scroll, I think, so they divided it into two so it'd be more convenient that way. Okay. The Jews still consider it just Samuel. They don't call it First and Second Samuel. Along with Kings and Chronicles, they don't have the First and Second thing going okay. on. Okay. That's kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. Are you telling me, though, that there are other books that aren't longer than that, that they didn't split up into sections? Well, that's a good question. There are some longer books. Um like Isaiah is pretty long. Mm-hmm. Ezekiel is pretty long. They're not split up. So I don't know. I'd have to really look up to see if that's correct. But that was my understanding is that it was just too long. So they split it into two. Okay. All right. So I think we're ready. All right. So we are now in chapter four, verse one. The word of Samuel came to all Israel and Israel went to war with the Philistines. So what is the word of Samuel? Oh, he, oh, at the end of last one, everybody said, oh, he's a prophet because he knows the future or whatever. Right. Okay. Or he speaks for God. I think it's more, more than predicting the future. He's a spokesperson for God, I think is more what a prophet is. But anyway, Samuel is definitely a prophet and he, the word came to him. Now it doesn't say the word of the Lord came to Samuel. Mm -mm. It just says that the word of Samuel came to all of Israel and they went to war. Okay, the Philistines killed 4,000 Israelites. The elders asked, Why did God let us be killed by the Philistines? Let's fetch the ark to save us from our enemies. So that's kind of weird. So they're saying God has forsaken us. I mean, he's yeah, no longer yeah, on our side. Yeah, they had a little battle here and lost 4,000 Israelites. Yeah. And so they were saying, well, you know, how'd that happen? <laughs> <laughs> and so let's get the ark because, uh-huh. you know, God's kind of... There. Kind of there, yeah. In the ark. <laughs> we want him to see that our people are getting killed right here. Yeah. And so if we have the ark with mm-hmm. us, then this wouldn't happen. Okay. We'll do better next time. All right. So they brought the ark to the camp and everyone in Israel shouted so loud that the earth shook. That yeah. must be really loud. Yeah, it caused an earthquake. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm thinking uh, they're shouting, just in case God isn't in the ark right now, they're shouting really loud to say, hey, hey, listen to us, listen to us. Oh, I think they're just so excited. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they've got the ark now and they're going to go fight Philistines. It's going to be great. Yes. The Philistines heard the Israelites shout and knew that the ark must be with them. I guess that's what you do when you have the ark. You just (laughs) yell a lot. Yeah, I guess. That must have been horribly frightening for them. (laughs) And they were afraid, and they said, God is in the Israelites' camp. Woe is us. Who will protect us from their mighty gods? We must be strong and fight like men. And the Philistines fought killing 30,000 Israelites. <laughs> so it doesn't sound like they were all that afraid. I, I no. guess they decided, you know, we need to fight like Philistines. <laughs> and so they did. Okay, so the Philistines, who is their god? Oh, I, I don't know. Okay, not not the god of the Ark of the Covenant. It wasn't Yahweh. It wasn't Yahweh. Yeah. Okay, well, they're doing pretty well, though. Uh, 
yeah. on their own. Yeah, and notice that they say they're worried about the Israelites' gods. So they think they have several. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, verse 11. The Philistines took the Ark of God and killed Eli's sons, Hophni and Phinehas. So, when they killed the 30,000 Israelites, they also said, let's just take this Ark. Yeah, I think so. I think that they killed the Israelites and took their Ark. Took the Ark of the Lord. Um, and killed uh, Hophni and Phinehas. Oh, yeah, because that's one of the prophecies that Samuel <laughs> said, is that those two are going to die because yeah. they're misbehaving. Oh, yeah. Remember, Eli, Eli was saying that. Yeah. yeah. So don't, and they weren't don't listening misbehave. to him because God had already decided this was going to happen. Now it's happening. It's happened now. <laughs> Shoot. A man ran from the battle with torn clothes and dirt on his head with the bad news. You always have dripped clothes, you know, you, yes. you rend your clothes and put dirt on your head when you have bad news. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody knows you're a messenger with bad news. The guy who's running is an Israelite, yeah, running back just, to his people. He's just running back with the bad news, yeah. Okay. When the people heard it, the whole city cried out. And Eli, who was 98 years old and blind, heard the city cry and asked the man, what happened? The man said to Eli, There was a great slaughter. Your sons, Hophni and Phinehas, were killed, and the Philistines took the Ark of God. When Eli heard about the Ark, he fell backward, broke his neck, and died. He had judged Israel for 40 years. Poor guy. Yeah. Yeah, it, it acts like he was upset by the Ark being stolen, then by his two sons, being killed because that was kind of old news for him. He knew that was going to happen. Yeah. But the ark, that was a, a that, big thing. A new thing. A, a, yeah, a big thing. How are they going to get that back, that ark? Oh, well, that's <laughs> the next episode. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so there was a great slaughter. Yeah, that is bad news for the Israelites. Verse 19 Eli's daughter in law, the wife of Phinehas, went into hard labor when she heard about the death of her husband. The woman who stood by her said, Don't be afraid. It's a boy. Like, that's any comfort. Yeah. Like he's going to replace Phineas or it's, something. It's always a comfort for women to have boys. I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> oh, you're right. There's that. Yeah. So, the last line of this episode yeah. is, As she was dying, she named the baby Ichabod. Yeah. That's kind of a strange name, but there are a lot of strange names in the Bible. Yeah, there are. And I included it mostly because it's a cool name. Nothing really happens with Ichabod so far as I know. We don't hear much more about him, but it's such a nice name, I thought I'd include it. So he probably was born on the day that his dad died. Mm -hmm. And on the day that his mom died. Oh, and on the day that his mom died. <laughs> yeah. So he's a little orphan. Yeah. Huh. So the chapter is ending with the... Uh, Ark being stolen by the Philistines. Yeah, that's the news of the day. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks for sharing this with me, Steve. Sure. Thanks, listeners. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.